Residents living in an Aventura high rise wonder if it's safe to stay. The Commodore Plaza received a violation from the city that it failed to comply with the 40 year recertification. Residents tell CBS News Miami's Joe Gorcho they pay over a thousand monthly and association fees and question how this could happen. You have to cry when you see things like that going on. Nora Mullen shows us multiple notices and violations issued by the city of Aventura dating back to 2022. The city provided us with the latest one posted on Thursday. It states the Commodore Plaza Condominium Association failed to comply with Miami-Dade County's 40-year recertification. Because I'm afraid too many people here. This is just for a show now. Mullen worries if the building and her balcony are safe. She points to a giant crack in a hole in the balcony above hers. And the units next door already has balconies removed for repairs. So we're doing an interview where you typically don't come out anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have to see the view from there. Our tour around Commodore Plaza shows areas under repair, from her building's entrance to the garage and Mullen's neighboring tower. Frustrated because... <laughs> We cannot use our amenities. Mullen says she pays over 1100 monthly in association dues. If every one of the 654 units in the plaza paid the same, the association would collect over $8 million annually. We emailed and called the association president and management company about the alleged violations Mullen showed us, Here's including the apparent uh, failure to comply with the 40-year recertification, its plans to do so, and how it spends money unnecessary repairs. They have yet to respond. Biggest fear is to lose my property, you know, be condemned and then I have to move out. Another resident, Raisa Meek, purchased her condo here last December. This has been a headache. Showing us images of a building in disrepair, worried if it would be deemed unsafe. The balconies are being uh, cracking, holes on the parking lot when it rains water comes out. We did ask the city how much it has fined the association since 2022 for being in violation and if it plans to refer the matter to the county's unsafe structures unit to begin a process to potentially condemn the building. The city has yet to respond. Reporting in Aventura, Joe Gorcho, CBS News Miami.